What's up, Peep? This your boy Jay here. Coming with an update here for the Grand Marquee here. I am going to show you how to play video games on your Android hand unit using a controller. Well, this one here is a USB dongle. So the dongle is here. That's where that is plugged in. I got, see this has two USB ports. I got one for where I got all the games at. And I got one plugged up for the joystick. So with this, as you can see here, let me get that in there. See, we get a good focus in here. Good. See, with the joystick, I can move it. And that can, you know, move my screen here. And we're going to play video games. Show you how to play video games here. Press the square. It's going to open up Retro Arch, which I downloaded on here. And here on Retro Arch, we're going to quick load a core. We're going to start with a, uh, a Nintendo game. We're going to cool down to say load content. And then I'm going to go down to where it says storage. Go to storage. Go to where it says the U-Disc 1. That's where all my games at. And here, we're going to go to Nintendo NES. All right, I'll go into the NES folder right here. And I'm going to pull up Super Mario Brothers 2. And we'll load it. And there you go. Turn that down song so you guys can still hear me. Well, yeah, we can play Nintendo games on here. You play Nintendo games. Yeah, you see, we got Nintendo games on here. Yep, everything works. And I'm doing this with one hand while I'm holding the camera, people. So I press the star select button here. And I can close out of this here, close content. Go backwards, scroll back. And we're going to go load the content. Then I'm going to put in a Super Nintendo game. Load the core. I said content load core. We're going to play Super Nintendo. We're going to load the content for Super Nintendo. Go down to storage. And I'm going to go to the U Disk 1. And we're going to look for Super Nintendo games. SNES, which is Super Nintendo. And I'm going to scroll into the SNES folder. And I'm going to go to Super. We'll just do Super Mario, just Super Mario All-Stars. And just press this button to get rid of the content on the screen here. And see, we can play Super Nintendo games. And we got Super Nintendo games you can play on here as well. And you know we can play Super Nintendo games. We'll do Star Select. We're going to close this content out. And then we're going to go back. And we're going to load the core. We're going to stroll down to Sega. We're going to play a Sega Genesis game. I mean, I can play all types of games on here. I mean, Sega Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced. Uh, of course, you've seen the Nintendo already. And we're going to load the content here for the Sega. Scroll down to storage because I got all the games stored on that storage drive. The U-Disk drive here is where I got all the games stored in. I'm going to scroll down to um, Sega 
Mega Drive in Genesis. Mega Drive is the name for it in uh, Japan. Any, by the way, and we'll go scroll to my Sega folder. And I'm gonna scroll down to a Sonic game. We'll just put a Sonic game on. We'll do uh, Sonic, Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 2. We'll just try that. Scroll down, and bam. And we're gonna keep it on the Genesis um, Plus um, core. And there you have it. And yes, the joystick does work, people. Of course, I died, but... But yeah, all the controllers work, and I'm doing all this with this controller right here. So... As you can see, that's our star select button here. That, that'll we can close that content out as well. But I'm just, I just, this is just to show you guys what I mean, what you what you can do here with your head unit here. If you own one of these Android head units, you can go on uh, to your Play Store and um, download um, Retro Arch and set it all up, and that'll show you how to you know play video games, and things, and all that stuff on here. But yeah, that's let's just get out of there. But yeah, that's what I got going on here with my um hit my hit my Android unit here in the grand marquee. So and like I said, this joystick is connected to the USB port, so I can use this joystick to navigate, you know, through my apps and stuff like that. I can open up my apps and everything using this joystick here. You know, let's put that right. Let's see if we can get it. I'm doing all this with one hand. I'm going to see if I can press the square button here. That'll open up my navigation here. And bam, there it is. Opens up my navigation for me. Now, I don't know if it'll take me out of it or whatever. But it opens it up for me. I had to manually take myself out of it, you know, via screen. But, yeah, that joystick I got hooked up to, you know, this right here. You know, just to let you know that you can actually play video games on your, on your head unit here. But yeah, but just wanted to show y'all what was going on and, you know, bring, and I guess I'll bring more updating content to you guys, but you know how I do it. So, but you know, my famous word until I get until up until then, peace.